Now that you are all done with the EMT 1012, what's next? First, you should relax and take some time off to chill. You have been working so hard on preparing the entire year, you deserve a break. You can go read that book you were holding off or if you're into writing books, maybe it's time to start working on the next one. If you're interested in science, maybe you can try Science Olympiad or Science Bowl. By the way, if you're interested in learning more about Science Bowl, leave a comment down below and if there's enough interest, maybe I can make a video about it. But if you are interested in taking your math skills to the next level, or you're expecting any qualification, then you should plan to resume preparation soon. Here is some important information about the AMI. There are two AMI tests, AMI 1 and AMI 2. For AMC 10 or 12, you can take both the A and the B tests. But unfortunately, you can only take one of the two AMIs and it will most likely depend on which one is offered by your test center. I'm not sure why MAA, the Mathematical Association of America, does not let students take both of the AMEs. They spend so much time creating two very high quality tests, but only 20% of students who even qualify take the AME too. Maybe we should start a petition requesting MAA to allow students to take both AME 1 and 2, and then they can take the best score for usage more and usamo qualification. That would probably make way more sense. Please leave a comment below if you agree or have any thoughts about this. Remember, whether you took the AMT 10 or 12, the AMI is the same, and there are going to be some new concepts and techniques to learn, especially if you took the AMT 10. If you did take the AMT 10, you'll need to learn logarithms, trigonometry, complex numbers, inequalities, and topics like those. You can find those in the advanced topics in the Mastering AMT 1012 book, as you can see here. There's some good problems and examples you can check out here. You can also review the harder problems for the other chapters like geometry, number theory, algebra, and combo. There's some pretty tricky AMI problems in there, which are good for practice as well. You can also check out the AOPS books, especially the intermediate theories. Intermediate Algebra and Com Counting and Probability are great books for the fundamentals. Volume 2 is also a great book. You can find some good handouts from Math Divulge, Youth Economy Math Association, Euclid Orchard, and others. And I have many of them linked on this page right here. There's some resources like some free online ones. There's some good books here, the AOPS ones, and some other ones as well. There's some Amy books here. There's many free resources like also, David Altizio has many good problems, and there are many free classes and handouts that you can check out here, and some good paid ones as well, like AOPS and AlphaStar. Also remember that the AMI is a three-hour test, so it will take double the focus, more than double. The length is more than double the AMC 1012. Also, by the way, you can find the link to this website in the description down below. So you need to practice staying focused for a longer period of time. Three hours staying focused is not easy. Three hours to keep your mental coolness and focus and not try to get stressed or anything else, it takes practice. So you'll definitely need to practice sitting down and not getting distracted for several hours at a time. You can also try, you should make sure to practice many Amy problems and you can, there's many good mock Amy's you can take as well. You can find the link to those on the Omega Learn website as well. Another big difference is that the AMC 1012 are multiple choice tests with five choices per question, but the AMI is a three digit answer from zero to 999. So there are essentially a thousand answer choices, basically. Unlike the AMCs, in the AMI, there are no, there's no point to leaving a question blank. So if you always wanted to guess, now's your chance, but don't get your hopes up too high because the chance of a guess being correct is one over a thousand, 0.1%, so basically nothing. 
Also, be sure to go carefully and methodically for Amy problems, especially the backy ones. Throughout Amy, there have been many tricky and troll and easy to mess up problems. And the thing about Amy is you're off by one, you're off by 10. There's no choices to catch you now. Now it's just a three digit number. So you have to be careful because when you get a mistake, there won't be any choices to tell you that you're wrong. Please let me know if you need any other information for preparing for the Amy. You can comment down below or join the Omega Learn Discord server, link in the description. It was my pleasure to make all these AMC 1012 videos and the Mastering AMC 1012 book. Please do let me know if you found them useful by leaving a comment below as it will encourage me to make more videos. Thanks for watching and good luck everyone.